10% of the world's annual nickel production comes from ores formed up to 3 billion years ago, when hot magmas erupted on the ocean floor. Yet scientists have puzzled over the origin of the rich deposits. The minerals need sulfur in order to form, but neither seawater nor the magmas containing the ores seem to have enough sulfur for this to happen. Douglas Rumble of Carnegie's Geophysical Laboratory is a co-author of a paper that analyzed ore samples from Australia and Canada. The findings indicate that sulfur atoms made a complicated journey from volcanic eruptions to the atmosphere to seawater to hot springs on the ocean floor and finally to molten or producing magmas. These nickel deposits have sulfur in them that must have participated in an, in an atmospheric cycle in ancient times because the signal is of an anoxic atmosphere. The key evidence is from sulfur-33, an isotope whose atoms contain one more neutron than normal sulfur, sulfur-32. Both isotopes act the same in most chemical reactions, but when ultraviolet light strikes them while in the atmosphere, they are sorted or fractionated into different products, creating isotopic anomalies. If there's too much oxygen in the atmosphere, there's not enough UV light that gets through, and therefore you can't make these reactions happen. So if you find these, these sulfur isotope anomalies in rocks of a certain age, you have right away some information about the oxygen level in the atmosphere. This sort of information will help geologists track down new ore deposits. The ore deposits, I mean, you know, what, they're a fraction of a fraction of a percent of the Earth's surface, and yet economically they're incredibly important because modern society does not exist without specialized metals and alloys. The paper appears in the November 20th issue of the journal Science. This is John Strom for the Carnegie Institution.